Okay, here's a nice uh, trig equation to solve, one that involves two different um, uh, ratios, so secant and tangent. So, purpose of any equation is at the end to have x equals something, right? So here I've got to somehow get rid of the secant and the tan squared. Now, if I ever have two different types of ratios, typically I want to combine it so it's one or change it. The only way you can do that typically is by using a, um, uh, one of the trig identities. And this one right here I found on um, our formula sheet says 1 plus tan squared is equal to secant squared. So wherever I, repl wherever I see secant squared, I can replace it with 1 plus tan squared. Okay, so here's a secant squared. I'm going to replace that with 1 plus tan squared x. Okay, minus 2 tan squared x is equal to 0. Now I'll drop the brackets, so 1 plus tan squared x minus 2 tan squared x equals 0. I can collect like terms because these both are tan squareds. So I'm up 1, I lose 2, so I'd be down 1. So I'd have 1 minus tan squared x is equal to 0. Now I want to isolate the trig ratio. So since it's negative, let's just push it to the other side. So I'll get 1 is equal to positive tan squared x. And I don't want tan squared, so I want um, to get rid of the squared. So let's do that next. So that's a principle of square root. So I can square root both sides. So I'll square root 1, and that'll be 1, of course. But when you use a square root principle, the one that doesn't have the squared on it, this other one, becomes a plus or minus. So maybe I'll write it as square root of 1. We'll change that in a second. And then this, the square root of that, I'll write it. Basically, I just took the thing above and um, square rooted both sides. So here I'll have plus or minus 1 is equal to tan x. Now I can take a look at my table where I had uh, sine, cos, and tan of 30, 45, and 60. And if you memorize all those uh, uh, numbers, you find that the tan of 45 is equal to 1. So right here, I can say that um, x then will be equal to, and what I could do here too, is I could just arc tan this side and arc tan that side. And if you arc tan 1, it comes out to 45 degrees. So tan x is 1, the angle that the ratio between the hypo or the opposite and the adjacent sides is equal to 1 is 45 degrees. And 45 degrees, of course, is our reference angle. So it can happen uh, in four places, there, 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 or there. And then I have to go back and see if there's restrictions. This one says positive or negative. And so uh, tan is positive in these two quadrants, negative in these two, but all of the angles will work. So that angle works, so that's 45 degrees. This angle works, that's 180 minus 45, because this part here is 45, so that's 135. And then this angle here is 180 plus 45, or 225. And then lastly, uh, that angle is 360 minus 45, or 315. So those would be my four answers to the, the question. If they want it in radians, you can give it to them in radians. So pi over 4, uh, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi is over 4, oops, that's a 4, and 7 pi is over 4. Okay, um, now it might be a good idea to go back, and you can test this if you want. Maybe just test it with 1. You can take a 45 and plug it in there and plug it in there. And when you do, you should come up with 0 as your answer. If you don't, then that means the 45 is incorrect. But it should come out. Um, okay, hopefully that helps answer that question.